close your eyes and watch your breath. Let all your attention settle right here, because there's work to be done here. We have to work on our minds. Our minds have all kinds of crazy ideas that we've got to sort through. And this is a good time to do it. We don't know how much, lo much, much longer we have. The Buddha always said you have to be heedful. When you've got the opportunity to develop the mind, you, you take the opportunity. Because as we get older, illness comes, aging comes, death comes. And as I say in a major understatement, that, that would be an obstacle. So before those obstacles come, or even if they're just beginning to show themselves, okay, you've still got time, you've still got the energy to work on your mind, because this is the important thing, the state of your mind, because that's going to determine how you live your life and how you die your death, and how you manage your illness in the meantime. If your mind is in good shape, okay, you can put up with anything. As the Buddha said, there's a, one of the reflections for the monks is that not only aging, illness, and death will come, but also there are times when society will break down when there's famine. And how are you going to deal with situations like that? We're lucky right now that the economy is good, but we've got this drought coming, and who knows what effect that's going to have. And with the change in the climate, who knows what effect that's going to have. But we do know that if the mind is in good shape, we can handle these things. So work on your mind. See any unnecessary greed, aversion, and delusion? Learn how not to go for it. And then you look at the greed, aversion, and delusion that you think is necessary, and you can start asking questions about that, too. But the important principle is that you've got the opportunity right now, and do what you can to clean up your mind right now, so these diseases of greed, aversion, and delusion don't take over, and don't impair you when physical diseases come and other outside difficulties come. You're going to need all the help you can get from within. So work on your mindfulness, work on your alertness. These are the qualities that are going to see you through. <laughs>